so this is the assembly of my secret message card now this card can be made with all sorts of different messages and themes but because easter is around the corner this is going to be the theme for this particular card so i'm starting with my card base now my card base is just a simple piece of 80 pound cardstock and it has three slits in the center panel and it has a score line here and a score line on both sides all i've done so far is fold it down on the score line and i have these two rectangles that are the same height as the card there are lots of rectangles in the file but you're looking for the ones that are the same height as the card itself the first one I'm going to thread it through so that it goes under the second panel and then comes out again and then goes under the third panel, sort of like a basket weave. And then with my second panel, I'm going to thread it in the opposite way. I'm going to slip it underneath the first panel and then over the second one and then underneath the third, like so. These are the two flaps that close my card. We open the card and then we're going to fold down on that center panel. Your two first panels and then you bring that middle panel up so that it forms like a W. There's a score line there so that should help you get it into position. And that's your card. Now the secret to this card is when you bring your panels together and then you pull them apart, you're actually looking at a different part of the card and that happens on the outside as well. So that's why it's a secret message card, because unless you know the trick, you'd have no idea that there's extra decorations in there for your recipient to read. I'm just gonna start decorating my card. I have debossed a piece of Cricut foil poster board. It's on top of an 80 pound cardstock rectangle. It's going to go on either side, like so. And I'm just going to glue that down. And while I'm at it, I can glue down the panels that are on the front of my card, like so. Normally I decorate my panels before I, I assemble a card, it just makes it easier. But on this card, because the images are hidden, it's easier to put it together once you've assembled your card. I'm going to raise the center of my card. I'm going to pull the edges apart, which is going to reveal the interior of my card now. So you know you have it right when it looks like this. So this is the secret message portion of your card. I've cut these panels to put underneath my message. Mine is going to say, shake your bunny tail. There are 16 eggs like this in the file with two layers. So you've got a full base layer and you have a top layer with assorted cutouts. The decorative panel here is cut out of Cricut Holographic Neon Craft Board. And I've used vinyl for the words. So this is the secret message part of my card, and I'm just going to glue this down the way that you see it. Okay, so now I've glued down my secret message part. See, shake your bunny tail, the little eggs, bring both flaps up to the center again, and then pull the edges out, and we're back to a blank card. So next I'm going to place my holographic panels over the strips that I had inserted. I have vinyl for the Happy Easter, and vinyl for my little decorative ears. And again, I'm going to scatter some Easter eggs. So I'm just going to adhere that down now. All right, so now you're thinking, all right, so we've done the cover, we've done the panels on the side, we've done the interior, we've done the secret compartment. We must be finished, right? No, we're not. <laughs> because if you flip it around, you have a whole new segment to do. So we're going to start with the secret compartment at the back of your card. So here's where you can leave a little message or a note. Now I've put the to and the from, and I'm going to put more Easter eggs. And you could put more of these white panels if you want to fill in a special message. So I'm just going to glue those down. So now that I've decorated that secret compartment, I'm bringing the edges up and folding my card flat again. These cannot be glued down or else everything just falls apart. So you have to keep making sure that they're nice and even flush at the bottom and the top as you're gluing down your panels. So now I'm just going to glue down those embellishments. This is what I want the recipient to see when they first open the card. So this is my card cover. So I've also created a belly band. I have these two strips. I'm just gonna adhere this one to the center of the larger rectangle. So next I'm just going to put the pattern slide down on my mat and I'm going to position my card so that there's 
approximately the same amount on both sides. I'm just going to wrap my belly band around. Now I want it to be relatively loose around my card. And the reason for this is this will be removed by sliding it off your card. So you want it to be loose enough so that it doesn't get caught on the images. So next I have a little decorative piece for my belly band. I'm just going to glue all three layers together. I just cut this out of glitter card stock. So then I'm going to take glue and put it on my belly band, remembering to keep it nice and loose. I'm going to remove my belly band and I'm going to glue on this decorative piece. I'm just going to put glue along the belly band itself and I'm positioning that oval more or less centered. And then this goes like so on my card. 